Arlo Guthrie. Right. Uh, this is, what, the third year running now? The second year running you've been at Cambridge? It's the second time I've been to Cambridge. Right. And last year, the last time you were here anyway, you were very much a surprise guest, Arlo, weren't you? Two years ago, yeah. when we came up here right after playing the Crystal Palace. Right. Okay. And didn't you play in one of the smaller tents down the back at that point? No, actually, we played right here on the lawn. And then somebody said, somebody was dropping out or was drunk or couldn't be found. Could we please take his place in this tent here, which was, I guess, the main tent. But it was facing the other way, so yeah. I don't know if it was the main tent then or not. Did you enjoy it? I mean, you must have enjoyed the informality of sort of setting up that way. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, well, of course, it was great. We weren't prepared or anything. We just sort of got up, bottle in hand, right. and... Uh, and sang a few songs. Yeah. So, I mean, was that the motivation to come back again? Well, I was sort of hoping it would be like that, but of course, this time everybody sort of expected us, and expected us to do something, and so it was a little harder, you know? Mm. Do you enjoy the atmosphere at Cambridge? Yeah, I think this is, I think this is about the best festival there is in the world right now. How does it compare with, I mean, in terms of atmosphere, Arlo, how, how does it compare with American festivals? Well, see, Newport used to be like this. But when the, when the press section started growing and the artist section started growing, <laughs> uh, by the time a normal person got in, he was already half a mile from the stage. So it sort of got a little overwhelming and it sort of get, got depressing. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is still relatively small. Everybody can see and hear. And it's nice. Yeah. This visit to England, really, this is the only gig you're doing here this time. That's right. Yeah. How long are you here altogether? About three weeks. Hmm. What are you going to be doing? Oh, uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> or if we did, we wouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a new album. It's out. When did you record that? Last uh, December and January. Hmm. Where do you go for your songs, Arlo? Because, I mean, you are very open and do record a lot of other people's material, don't you? And where do you go for your songs? Well, they sort of sneak their way into our vocabulary, you know. I, I don't know exactly how we get them. Mm. Do you make, I mean, do you go out specifically looking for songs? No, time no, time? never do that. Mm. Has your own, in a sense, habit of writing changed over the last few years? I mean, having got married and, you know... Well, it's hard to write with the kids screaming. So, of course, it's, it's changed a little bit, you know, and I'm home a lot more. Mm -hmm. I don't have to work so much because I can get more for what little work I do. So everything's sort of changed. Yeah. But I write the same kind of dumb songs, you know. So what are your plans now? You're three weeks in Britain, and then right. what happens then? Then uh, we go back to the States, and we start doing some concerts with Pete Seeger. That's, that's what's planned so far. Is yeah, we have some summer festivals in the United States as well. Yeah. That you, kind of thing. Are you going to be back at Cambridge next year? If Cambridge is here. Right. 